Hello, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I will be talking about a Hot Wheels series that is definitely either hated or loved or people are in between, like myself. Now, this series appeared in the mainline, uh, and before I move on, I will just say that this is not an obsolete castings episode, even though it is obsolete because not too many people know about it. Um, and it will be on the playlist, which you can check out. Um, I'll put a tab somewhere. It is. It can. It can count. But I'm here. I'm just talking about how this series pretty much failed, uh, and I feel like that should be another sub series that I should add to the obsolete castings episodes I've been doing. Um, and uh, I guess another apology on the lack of uploads. Uh, I've been trying to upload more. Just I'm be. I've been really busy with school, and you know I get very tired easily. So and it doesn't leave me any time to do videos, but. Uh, nonetheless, I hopefully I'll be able to make some more uploads soon. Uh, this maybe next week, but uh, anyways, the series we're going to be talking about is a series that appeared in the, in the Hot Wheels mainline called Fatbacks, or and and it was Fat B A X Fatbacks. If you get it, you get it. Well, this series only appeared in stores and was released by Mattel in two thousand four. And it was definitely a newer concept. We've heard of the hard nose with the N O Z. We've heard of that series where pretty much the back is very small, like the back of the car is very small, and then it goes really big on the front. Hard nose. Well, this is definitely very different. <laughs> and I have, thankfully, I actually have two examples, which I think might be probably my favorites out of the whole entire series. One of them, and you're about to see it this this is the toyota supra yeah this is yeah this is a toyota supra i'm not joking look it has the wing uh the nice purple design i actually really like the purple on it but yeah th this is what you see <laughs> this does not look like a hot wheel at all <laughs> uh yeah this is really interesting um i, I definitely the designers definitely enjoyed uh doing this this type of design uh and i personally really think it's pretty cool interesting uh, and yeah, this is the Toyota Supra. Uh, really cool. As you can see, it's small in the front and then big, big wheels in the back and very uh, sideways. And I usually like to have these and just like spin them around. <laughs> but another one I have in the box, which I'll which I'll open up in a little bit. I have this. This is the Fatbacks um, Plymouth Barracuda. Now the entire series was a first edition. But uh, I guess we'll talk about why it failed in a little bit. But yeah, this is the Barracuda and it, and it has a lot of resemblance to a specific car, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. I think you can already tell. But yeah, same same feature, big wheel on the packs. And yeah, this looks really ridiculous. But yeah, this is this is real, you guys. Um, and uh, here's the back. But yeah, let's uh, move on to my new uh, place. I just cleaned up and... Uh, let's take a look at our new uh, die-cast unboxing place, shall we? And uh, here it is. Uh, no more uh, weird background anymore. So here is my, I guess, quote-unquote desk where I'm going to pretty much unbox my stuff. Uh, I hope I'll be able to keep it like this. It's just really hard to like clean and like, maintain this place clean because uh, I really do need it to, <laughs> to unbox these stuff. And now I can have uh, multiple cars on here, so that's uh, really awesome. So... Uh, once again, here's the Supra. Uh, I'll show it in higher quality since, uh, you know, uh, the face camera on an iPhone is not really the best quality, but here it is. Uh, I actually really like this one. This might be my favorite out of all of them, and I'm not saying that just because I like the Supra, which, uh, I don't know, whatever. But I just really like the color on this, and uh, the graphics on it look really sick, too. Um, it's the front wheels, the normal Hot Wheels size wheels, and then the back just, like, when do you see that? <laughs> that That's just weird. Uh, I don't know why they thought of this, but you know what? I'm grateful they did because that just shows that uh, Hot Wheels designers have a lot of ideas. And I'm going to move this one out of the way for a little bit. There you go. And here it is. This is the Fatbacks Plymouth Barracuda. And as you can see, as I try to focus, a lot of resemblance to a uh, certain uh, historic car, a Hot Wheels car, and a real life car from the actual from the 1970s. And uh, let's open this up. Wow, that was uh, that's pretty easy to open. 
Yeah, look, it has an extra plastic part. Here's the card. Uh, I don't know if I'll save the packaging. I usually just save the card, but it doesn't look any different than any other mainline. And here it is. Wow, this is like, wow, this looks super cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, this is the Plymouth Arcuda, like I said. Uh, it's nice yellow on it. Um, has a definitely a very patriotic stripe, red, red stripe and a blue stripe with the, the white stars in the middle. Awesome, very patriotic. Uh, blown, bl blown engine out outside. Uh, windshield, of course, very small, of course. Uh, there's a bunch of sponsors on here. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to read uh, any of those, but um, yeah, there's a champion logo: Krager, Goodyear, uh, Coca-Cola. Oh, that's interesting. Coca-Cola is actually on this car. Uh, I don't know if that was like that on the real uh, Snake and Mongoose car, and I just said it. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much a Snake and Mongoose car. This is the Snake, driven by Don Perdo. Mm, I don't know if I said it correctly. <laughs> Sorry if I said it incorrectly, but it's just I'm not using. I'm I know about the Snake and Mongoose cars, but I'm not too familiar with the history of it. Uh, but I know they're probably the one of the most iconic cars of all time for Hot Wheels, I should say. Oh uh, yeah, Plymouth. Uh, Hot Wheels, of course, and then you just see that. <laughs> that looks so cool. I wish I could get the entire collection. Just look at that. Oh, wow. This one could do a wheelie. This one can't due to the wheelie bars. And yes, these are metal metal. I think all of them are metal metal. Uh, yeah, Toyota Supra. It's upside down. Toyota Supra. Barracuda. Yeah, right there. It says it right there on the, on the, on the wheelie bars. That's awesome. So yeah, uh, this series, uh, it was um, made in 2004, so, uh, you know, just a couple years before I came along. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, series came along in 2004, and these really did not sell very well. Not only because they were kind of ugly looking, I mean, you gotta be honest with me, they kind of are. They, uh, I don't know. Yeah, not only were they ugly, it's like uh, some people would say. But also because these would not work on the track. And people were complaining that it wouldn't fit. Which, in my humble opinion, that's kind of dumb. Like, why would you imagine these things fitting on the track? Like, where can I get a normal Hot Wheel here? Yeah, I just have this uh, custom uh, A86 tofu, mo tofu mobile. Like, seriously. is it? Do people really think it's really going to fit on a Hot Wheels track? Of course it's not. Of course it's not. It's not, it's not going to fit. Uh, but yeah, they said that and also because You know, it used a bunch of extra plastic and a bunch of other parts that it was actually um, Mattel had to cut back on their um, uh, You know cost saving measures. Yeah, we hate hearing that word because with that we just lose stuff like this We lose opening hoods. We lost metal body metal base um, I don't know what's gonna be next. I hope we don't lose metal after that that would be a huge low for Hot Wheels if they actually can't produce Hot Wheels without the metal, like the metal body, I should say, because that that's gonna drive a lot of people nuts. And I hope they don't do that, but you know that's uh, unfortunately that's the unfortunate thing with this uh, this series and any of the other series I can also talk about, where you know cost saving measures just got to them and they just can't produce these. And since they didn't sell very well, I think it is kind of. Uh, it did make sense for Mattel to pull the plug on these, but, uh, eh, you know, they didn't sell very well. Stayed on the pegs mostly through 2004 into 2005, and, yep, after that, they were gone. Uh, I found both of these at the Swami. This one, I found loose. Of course, I found them loose. This one, I found carded, as you saw. Um, these, I don't know if they're really valued that much. I personally don't care about the value. I just personally care if they look cool. And if they have a cool, or at least have a cool story w with it, you know. Uh, that's the important thing for Hot Wheels to me. If I want to collect, I want to collect for the story. Or just because of how cool the car looks. And these definitely look really cool. Um, really happy to have these in my collection. And I'm going to move the camera down a little bit. Really happy to have these uh, in my collection. Uh, you, you'd never see, I don't think we'll ever see this in Hot Wheels ever again. Uh, and you know, it's just a fun little thing to have. I'm unfortunately due to the size, of course, it's obvious size, it doesn't fit in my uh, personal favorite case. 
So uh, unfortunately, these are gonna have to stay on the shelf or something and collecting dust. Unfortunately, because these are actually really cool. Even though, like I said, they looked ugly and all that stuff and very weird. These look kind of cool, you know. Like it's like if you draw a Toyota Supra, if you were a kid. Or, I guess I technically still have a kid. But you know, if you draw a Toyota Supra, you could be drawing something like this, and this is really cool. It it gets the mindset of a person who wants to be a kid, like this. Like Snake and Mongoose, already a cool car. Make this rad, rad, dude. These are awesome. Hope you'll be. I hope you'll be able to get more of these. I know there's like um, I think it's a 2004 Ford Mustang. There's a C6 Corvette in this series, so for all those Corvette collectors, you can also pick that one up. And uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, this is the only JDM car. This is the only drag car in this series, I think, uh, or funny car, quote unquote, because it doesn't open up. But yeah, uh, and I'm rambling. So this has been a, uh, a review and a little bit of, of discussion on why the fat backs failed. It was simply um, cost-saving measures from Mattel. They had to stop producing these. Uh, people were not buying them, and, and of course, people were complaining of it not being on the track, and because lots of people would say it looked ugly, and you know, whatever. So uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you liked it. Please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.